look, I now only focus on the creative direction. My agent does everything else. All I wanna do is build agents and chill. Agents and chill. Hey, this is Fabian from Glyph. I wanna give you a quick walkthrough of how I'm making these sorts of videos where I'm using Kling, in this case 2.5 Pro, to generate shots, single take shots that go beyond the usual five to 10 seconds, but actually they could be infinite in theory. This one is a minute long. I could make it 10 minutes long, I could make it 100 minutes long, and um, it's quite fun, it's a cool genre, and I've made an agent that lets me make those uh, very easily. And that agent is on glyph.app, which is a site that I'm working on where you can build workflows and agents. Agents are the latest thing we've been slowly adding and it's still in beta, but it works pretty well. So this is my agent Infinite Cling 2.5 and we can ask it directly, tell me what you can do and it's gonna introduce itself. The whole point of this is that inside of a chat interface, you do everything. This agent has access to Cling 2.5, of course, but it also can do frame, um, first frame, last frame with Cling 2.1. It can sort of extract the last frame from a video, which is an important tool for it to be able to make these continuous shots. It can do any style because it has access to most of the state-of-the-art image models and editing models and has like ways to stitch videos together for you. So you can make something like this without ever leaving this chat interface. And let's just sort of think about an idea of a video, which is like nowadays the most um, important bit because the execution is actually quite easy. And for this uh, video, what I want to be doing is um, like, let's do, let's do an over the shoulder shot of an anime cat running through like some Tokyo environment. And um, I'm gonna ask it simply to, let's start with our still. I want an anime retro Ghibli style of an over the shoulder shot of a cat in a Tokyo hood. It's sitting on a balcony on the first frame. Make it really retro anime and let's use a, let's do 16 to nine aspect ratio. Um, use a bunch of models so we can compare. And now it's gonna go and craft a prompt, run that through a bunch of image models. So it has, oh, it has access to a retro anime Laura, I believe, which is cool. But we can see how well that's gonna stack up against like Sea Dream, Ideogram, and all the others. So we're getting our first results. Very nice. So we have, this is the, this here is the retro anime Laura, which I think is Flux. That second one is Nana Banana. Third one might be, what is this, Ideogram, Imogen. And then we have, this one's interesting. It's kind of photographic and anime. What model is this? Sea Dream. And then we have one. I think, I think I like this one here best actually. Let's use, so I'm gonna just quote this. Let's use this one and do a um, anime with Kling 2.5 where the camera is always right behind the cat as it jumps onto the street and is running, make it super smooth. All right. And it also like does this sort of generative UI where it gives us buttons that we can use um, and it knows which one is which, so that's cool. But there's many different ways of working with this. You can chat with it, you can use the buttons, you can interrupt it. Um, so now it's actually, it's first analyzing the image again to make sure that it knows what's going on. It's crafting a very sophisticated prompt for this and it's asking us to actually confirm and I've confirmed it. And now it's gonna use King 2.5 to generate this first video. And I'm gonna speed this part up because it's gonna take like something between two to three minutes. And um, so I'll see you on the other side. And there we go, we have our video. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool. Just as I imagined it, very nice. So this is a 10 second video of our cat 
jumping from the roof and then running through this like nightly cute Tokyo anime street. And so what it already did is it extracted the last frame. And um, what we can do now is we can prompt the next scene. And it's going to sort of use this image here as our starting frame for the next scene. And it's suggesting a bunch of ideas, cat turning corner into an alley, cat leaping over obstacles, cat running towards a specific destination. I kind of, I think it'd be cool if the cat entered a house. Um, let's have the cat enter a house and um, run through the kitchen where it finds some sardines on the table and is eating them. This might be a bit ambitious, is it too ambitious? I've got 10 seconds. So let's do this. Let's have a cat enter house, run through the kitchen where it finds some sardines on the table. Excellent narrative choice, Claude says. Thank you, Claude. As always, I'm absolutely right. And we're going to tell it to generate the kitchen scene. And now it's going to run cling again. And again, I'm going to speed this part up because it's two to three minutes. But actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to show you a bit more about how this agent works. Because at the end of the day, an agent is an LLM. In this case, I have Claude Sonnet 4. I could choose Kimi or Gemini or GPT-5 or GPT-4.1 or Claude Haiku or in fact, like lots of other LLMs but I like Claude Sonnet for the best for this type of use case. And then secondly, an agent is a prompt. And I have like this prompt here where I um, tell it exactly how it's kind of like doing things and how it's using its tools or workflows. And then an agent is workflows because otherwise it can't act because agent comes from acting. And so we have 39 enabled workflows here, ranging from memory, to stitching videos together, displaying UI. So this here, the fact that it's displaying UI is just a, um, a workflow here on Glyph. It can analyze images. We can click through to any of these, right? And like check how they work. Um, so for example, this retro anime workflow, we can check it out here on Glyph because that's just a workflow on Glyph. I can hit edit and I can see what it actually does. Oh, it's using Imogen. So this is, an act, this is a very simple workflow because it just takes the input from the agent and then it uh, appends this to the prompt. Studio Ghibli anime film still showing input, retro anime film still slightly blurry. That's all it does. It has lots of these kinds of like really useful skills. Combine two images with Nana Banana is um, a cool one. Edit an image with Nana Banana. It can find fitting voices for 11 Labs text-to-speech which is quite cool, like this one here. So the agent, this is like the user interface, but the agent would prompt it the same way where you could go like, um, give me a gobl goblin voice. And then this is just gonna return a ID that the agent can then use with 11 labs. Pretty cool. Um, and you can, of course, like you can make your own workflows. That's like one of the key things of this platform, make your own agents or make your own workflows or just use the agents that others have made like this one that I've made. But there's like hundreds of thousands of community made workflows and um, all of them you can run with your agents or yourself. And we have our next frame. Let's see. Let's play it. We have the cat running through. <laughs> that was a bit cheaty, but it's running through the house. It finds the sardines keeps running pretty good um, except for this one bit in here like <laughs> um, I don't know about the physics of that one cling but nobody's perfect so we could like tell it to sort of regenerate it and tell it the cat is actually moving through a cat door but um, this is fine I'm just uh, for demonstration purposes. what we're going to do is now I'm going to s tell it to stitch those two videos stitch those two videos and then we can look at the whole thing and um and it's gonna be a 20 second one and actually i want to add some music to it 
so we're gonna have it generate some music for us. First stitching the videos. Now we have the combined video. We see the cat jumping down, running. And after 10 seconds now, what did you see? Did you notice anything? Because I didn't. Super smooth. There's no transition. There's nothing. You see nothing. It just looks like one video. So Kling is really good at that when you use the last frame. And um, so now I don't even know if, if this one has music generation. Let's do some music. Do you have music uh, tools? 11 labs. Um, let's generate a Ghibli instrumental cute anime soundtrack for this. No lyrics. Yes, it does have 11 labs music. If it didn't, I could have shown you how to add it. It's quite simple. And it's going to generate some music for us. Oops, it's getting an error. The cool thing is um, the agent can correct based on the errors because it sees the errors as well. Like I, I don't really care what the error was. Maybe it was too short what it was trying to do. Maybe uh, it used like some copyrighted word that 11 Labs doesn't like, but the agent will just adjust and then try again. And um, what we, one thing I haven't taught this agent yet is how to understand how long the music should be because it generated 29 seconds of music that's gonna be too long. And I don't know if you can hear this. Perfect. Um, I'm going to ask it to perfect. Let's make this music only 20 seconds because our video is only 20 seconds. Oh, it already, it already mixed the music to the video. Let's see. Let's see how that worked. Okay, now the, now the video is too long. The music is too long for the video. So we have like about, I think um, the video is 30 seconds long, even though our video is only 20 seconds long. Let's try something. Um, do you have FFmpeg? Because there's a sort of cool tool that lets it. Yes, awesome. Let's cut the last 10 seconds from that video. Still thinking, stop thinking. I want you to just do this. And now it's going to run. So FFmpeg is a Python library for video, video editing. And basically what this agent can do is run any FFmpeg command. And it's just going to sort of like come up with code to edit our video. And now we should have a 20 second video. Perfect. So now we have this, um, you know, short but sweet uh, cat anime video. And uh, if we wanted to sort of extend it, we do it with a version without the music, because then in the end, we would want to have like lots of music that fits the whole sort of scene. But this is a demo and I uh, just wanted to show you how it works. And I hope that's helpful. I'm going to put the link to this video and to this agent below this video so you can try it out yourself. And please send me feedback. This is kind of like in beta testing now. Uh, there's lots more to come. There's lots more stuff for us to do. One of the core ideas is that you can make your own agents. There's lots and lots of agents already made by the community. This one is Infinite Cling 2.5. But there's also stuff like um, 
Well, this one here does transitions very well with Cling 2.1 or Haluo. Uh, you have like things like pushback cloth, which is cloth without sycophancy, so it won't tell you that you're absolutely right all the time, but rather push back. Um, there's really incredible stuff already there, and I can't wait to see what you're gonna sort of build yourself. All I wanna do is build agents and chill.